Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Physics Games. Today, we're going to be looking in our tips and tricks series at the weather command in the console to see what we can change and find out what are the main things that you may wish to do during your game. By pressing F1 and typing in DM, it brings up the debug menu which we need to be in. Next, we type in weather and that will show us all the commands that are available and we're going to go through most of these today. By typing in weather, clouds, and number one, we can see that the sky is now full of clouds. If we were to change that to zero, we would remove almost all the clouds because there is no absolute zero cloud situation in game. And if we pick somewhere in between, like 0.5, then we get some clouds. And again, just to show you, 0.2, there's a little bit more blue sky. Now let's type in weather, fog, and one and we fill up the entire game full of fog you can only just about see on the right hand and the left hand sides the brickwork in front of us so don't go too crazy on this if i go 0.5 then we can see it's still very thick fog 0.4 it starts to recede 0.3 we can now see properly the next pois 0.2 and then 0.1 far off into the distance next on the list is typing in weather rain and one and what this will do is allow the rain to start to fall even if you have a clear sky you can make it rain and we have the ambient sound behind us if we type weather rain zero it stops the rain immediately and it takes a few seconds to remove that ambient noise next we're going to try out snow and we're going to use weather snowfall and one and this will then magically appear by bringing the snow into the game and isn't that a lovely view the wasteland with the snow and we type in weather snowfall zero and it all disappears immediately you can change the temperature in game and you do this by typing weather and then temp rather than temperature that is listed and then typing in the temperature in degrees fahrenheit so if i type in 80 then that is what it would be even though my game is set to celsius because i live here in the uk and that's what we're used to and finally the one i really like when i'm making videos let's go and have a look at these trees over here I see plenty of zombies all waiting for me down there but let's look at the trees in the middle of the screen and i'm going to type in weather and wind and really rack this up to a hundred and then let's watch what happens to them you can see that after a few seconds the wind is going to increase and they are going to start to blow around. You can already see all the grass moving about in the POIs to the left and on the ground. Trees, for some reason today, don't seem to be moving. There we go. Now I've typed in wind 400. That's the kind of values that they need. You can see the grass going completely crazy. In fact, let's just nip over there and have a proper look. You can see the grass going rather mad, more than you'd ever get in any game. But of course, you've now got the trees, and those trees are moving quite wildly. It's the kind of thing you might want to use if you get rid of the grass. You really want those trees moving, if you say making a video like I'm doing today. I don't know how far I can push it, actually. I might push it up to 1,000, and we'll see if it makes any difference whatsoever. No, it doesn't look like it is, really. So the maximum might be 100 or 200. I'll have to have a play around with that. Thank you for watching and please hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you can. Share this with all your friends and I'll see you very soon. Bye!